this one. So last time we unlocked medium. Uh, so she looks really interesting. She basically reduces the chance of our characters dying, which definitely seems to be a very nice. She has a bunch of different uh, domains at her disposal. Shadow Elf. Now we have one point left. A scavenger, maybe? Or Scoundrel and Red? Hmm. It's hard to choose. take the scavenger because last time we had the, the scoundrel already so we can't choose anything from there anyway but we still have a lot of points left season four sounds good this one also looks sounds really interesting
So that's why I'm restarting a new game. But it should make the whole thing a little bit more interesting. Uh, I installed a mod that overhauls the whole mental uh, fighting. And also one that gives uh, an age to all the followers. So they might become more wise at some point and pass on some of their abilities to um, children and um, yeah in the end they might even die because of, uh, of old age so i thought it was a little bit um, too easy after a while when we just had so many different characters at our disposal so i hope that will make us a little bit weaker and also gives us a reason to use multiple different characters in the long run. I think we will take the four-legged friend. I hope it's an animal, uh, not an animal, I hope it's a pet and not an animal. And now we have one slot that we can still fill. equipment or seasoned followers. Yeah, probably none of those that you can equip on someone. We'll see. Um, I think the advanced equipment can be really... Like, I mean, you can still sell it, but if you don't get anything that you can use with your characters right away, it might be kind of a waste. So let's take the experience. That should help us in the beginning. So I think that's it. Oh, that's our Shadow Elf. And our Human Scavenger. Well, I think the, the choice is quite easy. That we will take our Shadow Elf as our chosen. Yeah, that's true. Um, that is due to a mod that makes the the god's choice a little bit more impactful because yeah as you say it has more specific traits per god and less of the unspecific ones so we take our shadow off. and um, it said it was a young shadow off, so i hope that this one grows up into something stronger after a while, but we'll see. We might even die really quickly. Yeah, of course. Thanks for the for the heads up. I hope now it's a bit better to hear you. I think the world size was quite fine and um, I still I'm still not convinced by the islands so let's take this one and this time we didn't choose a god that is so keen on on balance and all well hello there chosen welcome into the service of the gods as I am a believer my st all right mm. all right so what I was about to say was, um, I didn't choose a god that is so keen on balance. So we might uh, have some other choices this time. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not a dog. It's a horse. That might be even better because now we can carry a lot of stuff and we got 
more movement points. Yeah. Unexpected, but I wouldn't call it necessarily wor um, worse than what we had. Oh, and we already have a boar, which also increases our movement points. So we should be really fast. We also start with a bone heavy armor and well the, the clay metal doesn't even look too bad especially for a starting weapon so young shadow elf um, more akin to demons of the dark than their own lands that's also something that i plan to do uh, last time we didn't really focus on demons or we didn't really acquire many demons yeah it's it's the max level i was i'm i'm actually a bit surprised that we got that one it's it's very strong in the beginning so what kind of skills do we have child of darkness so it's stronger during the night and increases perception increases wits so they're really very fast and higher movement points. Parry uh, second level already. Poison throwing dagger. Two flying daggers. Okay. I thought the Yeah, you can. Uh, I think for now we still keep them. And sneak attack, which also scales with um, perception. So I think we should boost the perception on her. I think it's quite balanced so far. It has. Destiny quite high, but strength and perception is relatively even. So, but it has this innate buff that gives it 10% um, more perception on the first level already. So I think it's more efficient to do, to increase the the, uh, the perception, especially with two abilities that are already scaling with perception. But for now, we don't have any weapons for that um, but it's a good start so what does he have destiny as well and mysticism and uh, trash attack and dizziness powder well that's that's quite nice for a start um, yeah I think the wand well it's, it's fine but it's not too bad. Let's see what we can increase. So as we said, increase perception on the elf. And it will be destiny on our scavenger, right? Yeah, scavenger. Which is beautiful and attractive. Yeah. I could definitely tell based on the picture. Who wouldn't call that attractive and beautiful? Okay, so I think last time it went quite well to go in the direction of the the next area because there we were able to find higher quality. Um, higher quality resources and um, so that's probably what we're going to do again so as tradition has it your god we know those already and another increase by 10% width just by one level that's insane and 5% more perception I think that's good. Mm. How's our gathering doing? Well, it's not great. We could increase that. 
I think it's not bad having a little bit of gathering in the beginning because otherwise we spend too many rounds just waiting around. So let's see what this is. Um, the ruins are old and decrepit, like already looted many times over, but you never know what hidden secrets you may get uncovered. Uh, the south area seems to have traveled. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, we need to establish at least a foundation. Um, I don't think that this scavenger will turn in anything into anything that is really that worth. Like in later in later rounds of this game we will probably change it for something more suitable for fighting anyways. So the south is less traversed and unstable and we don't want to fight. Well I could have um, taken the scoundrel with the red again but that was the one that I had last time so I wanted to change it up. Um, we found a monster shield but sadly we don't have we only have two-handed weapons otherwise this one isn't bad and we got some ember well, it's quite hilly up here ah I see yeah, it might have been interesting, but I think the, the trade is that it just here. Um, if your chosen dies, they change into an unliving corpse. Is that for, like, does it work for the others too? Yeah, that's what I thought. But maybe there's like an event. Okay, that seems odd to me. Uh, the White Consul has been summoned on the question of mighty Slavian gods. Oh, I see. Yeah, <laughs> maybe later. Uh, okay, just they just inform us. Um, more destiny and more perception um, hopefully the one that we have is even scaling with destiny on him is it yeah it is okay that's good let's go higher up there's something It's exactly the same, so we go to the safer areas again. I've got some leather, some experience. Nothing great, nothing bad. Sadly, there was no food on our way yet. Oh, we should have gone here. Uh, is it worth it? Probably yes, because we have no idea where we're gonna end up anyways and there are some beasts let's see what they do yeah I should have Ooh, she has so many options but all of them are basically the same that's quick okay she's quite slow with that one but the the daggers are fast let's summon the boar um, she's so fast with the double toss daggers I think we can use his mass lullaby to even further slow them down, which is not really necessary, but that's a good thing for later on, for other encounters, I mean. I think our 
our starting group doesn't look too bad. we have enough yeah but only if you don't have anyone in the melee row opposing t uh, like on the opposing side see this time we attacked both of them that's why I put a, the the second one in the most further to the right mm, you discover the ruins of an ancient human cemetery um, the custom let's search the place um, okay you're ambushed by a scruffy scavenger well we're basically the same and this time we have more space that is very nice we might be able to um, to spread them out more evenly so that we can make use of our double daggers let's put our boar there okay now this one I see and they're probably able to counter us and I don't want to play him because he doesn't have any shield and he would just get hurt, I think. But then again, what is this one? Maybe if we play him behind the wall, he should be relatively safe. And now they shouldn't be able to play another one in a row. So if we play the, her here, she should be able to attack twice. this one out that is fine it was good to block this one and now we can just finish it that worked well we got another wand this might be even stronger than the one that we have some monster bone Let's see. Uh, 1.5, this is 1.6, so it is better. Yeah, they speed up the research so much. Mm. Let's go in here. Uh, ancient ruins, let's investigate. Uh, the ruins I are about to search have an unsettling stench of decay about them. Um, let's scout first. Oh, they do. I didn't even know. How, how do they make it easier? Do you get a, a bonus if you already have the, um, the people researched? if we are that sneaky but we can still try it and if we fail we can probably still fight Whew. that's a strong rock entirely on her this time we should be fairly quick though so 
we will try to bring out a lot of the double toss ones to just burst everyone very quickly. This is the last one. Uh, let's make which one is it? This one slower. So now we are in front of everyone and we have two double tosses and one single toss because this is the fastest one. But I think that might be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. And this time we throw like this. That was a good round. Oh, but we still get a illness. Let's search the ruins and leave. Uh, some sandstone, that's nice if, for when we want to build our, our village. Um, let's go up here. And now you can collect that one. And the illness doesn't help us at all. Oh, we're running out of food a little bit here. And this is not even enough to cook um, well. But at least we can collect some seaweed. Let's see. The, the double toss is actually quite good. I'm, I'm beginning to like it. Uh, let's increase that one. Gathering zero point seven increase. I think since we might struggle a little bit with early encounters, we should um, take the fight option. Do we want to fight here? Yes, because oh no, it's bees, but we can get the jelly. I think. And the nest is here. Let's clear the net. Mm. Should be possible, I think. Um, yes. Um, I have multiple mods that affect the, um, the leveling. I have a mod that makes it so that you get levels faster and you get more levels in total. But also, the you never receive the plus two um, ability, um, not ability, the, the stat increase. It's always plus one, but overall you have more opportunities to um, spe uh, specialize a character. Let's bring out our boar. If you want to see which mods I exactly use, you can uh, see in my uh, information there's a link to my Discord server and on there you will find all the different mod lists to all the games that I play. It's a lot of bees here. We won't be able to take them out all at the same time. Uh, let's see, we might take some damage here. I have no idea 
It might be that it increases with level, but I'm not sure. That's actually quite odd. Oh wait, it might be, wasn't it a, no it was a physical, it was just not a fighting challenge, but it was still a red challenge, so it should be the same. The only thing that is different is the, the one level up that we had, so that might be the reason. It's nice that we at least take those two out in one round, so for next round we will have double tosses. And this is not enough to break the shield. still have two cards oh no they don't well we took a little bit of damage but i think that's very fine um, but we're still in search for some food uh, some spices Oof. they already want to well i guess because he's so beautiful um, but sadly we don't have any we don't have any food to organize the wedding. That would have been interesting to see what, what kind of child we get for that. I wanted to see if there is some kind of counter, because it's a young Shadow Elf. So it should increase. Um, or she should age at some point. illness really screws with us but it's only two more rounds so we should be able to to get some stuff after that um, we might have enough for the herbs no it's not enough for the herbs well do we have enough to cook I don't think that is the case either no we need one more fruit of course not well, uh, no, it was the the wood that we haven't um, unlocked yet on our research tree, and I think it would also take a while. And the other one was hundred. Oh yeah, because we had the increased gathering range. I, I see. You're you're absolutely correct. Mm, now we fight some rats. strength of the swarm of course and that is very nasty let's well that was not what I wanted I wanted to put a boar in front of it and then we'll play her here He's actually quite fast. Uh, not quite fast. Uh, he's actually quite strong. That's what I wanted to say. And she's very fast, so they kind of synergize relatively well together. Oof, and they do so much damage now. I hate this ability. Sadly, we don't even kill that one. We need to be a little bit more strong. Or more perception, even. So now we take quite some time, quite some beating. Um, yeah, we take out those because we are quicker than those three rats. 
and then we don't take any more damage. But still, that was quite some damage. Get some meat, some bone, some leather. Hmm. And soon the night will fall, which might actually be quite nice for us since we will be stronger with our shadow elf during the night. Oof, rat's nest level 2. I think we will not take that. Uh, the grain. We might need to... We might need to stay here a little bit longer to... to gather some food. Because we don't have enough yeah. But what we can do yeah, is forbid that they use the beetle jelly and the fruits. Because that way we can Yeah, that's true. And we got some experience for that. So it should be fine. Um and next round Oh no, not next round. Um, it will be two rounds, but then we have enough resources um, to finally cook our first meal and advance the tutorial quest. Um, so. We could have even visited this landmark, but it's fine. We can do that now. Um, you discover ancient ruins. Let's investigate them. We definitely go into the safer area still. And we get a small leather artifact. Ooh, that one is nice. It does less damage, but it's, it gives us the opportunity to use fortify in our physical engagements and 11 shield is quite a lot for us at this moment still so yeah we will certainly use that and it's even just one-handed so that means he is able to use the shield now so he has some some physical armor himself now and that makes it even possible to use yeah that makes it possible that we can use him a little bit more offensively without the risk of him getting one shot. Uh, let's go further to this side. Oh, that's nice, but it will take ages for us to, to acquire that one now. But I think we can get some fruit and some meat. Exactly here. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want to cook um, with this and this pudding. Well, could be worse. And not enough. Not enough. Okay, both of them have to cook, otherwise it takes a while. No. Why is it so high? I guess they get some kind of bonus. Is the... No, it's not night yet. No, but it's not... I thought so too. But it's not the night yet. Hm. I don't know why. We also don't have any... Um, bonus or anything. Autumn. Yeah, that can. that's true. The season. Well, you can't open the... There. Um, crafting is 25% faster. Yeah, that it is. Um, so we can just do it with one. And you can gather here. It's 
So we get some food. Let's do that a second time. Yummy! Well done! And here, yep. one must have a good drink too. Thank you. And now we go and look at this abandoned house. Uh, it's down here, not too far away. Um, and there are some... I want to see the fruit. There are some rats. Um, they are really weak. They don't even have the fat rat with them. So let's attack the rat for some meat and some experience. I think we can auto resolve this one. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's not a problem at all. And then we can go here. You find Theodore's abandoned house. It is nestled amongst some trees and looks rather old. Inside, mm. there is no way out. The doors are gone. You will have to face this hag to escape. Well, she imprisons us in her house and we will um, use the attack option because I don't think we can convince her with our people. Even though I would have liked to. I, that's definitely something that I want to try. Um, I want to use more mental challenges in this one. Especially after I installed this mod that overhauls the whole mental... Uh, the whole mental combat and the mental consequences. Mm. What do we do? Oh, that's the thing. He doesn't have any damage options now during um, physical engagements with this um, relic. But he's a bit tank here. Well, it's our supporter anyway, so it should be fine. Let's use our door. Yeah, she's melee. Uh, she's ranged, so we... It would have been even better if we would have had the boar still to put... Oh, okay, but she also uses the the rats um. I think we just try for more damage I don't think we will win this with more shields so we soaked one blow and now we have uh, four attacks. Of course it's one left. Um, but we can kill that one and then it's just the two. Um, that's actually very good because now she also gets two tosses. So it's only one red left. I think that worked quite well. You defeat the witch, and the hut changes back into an old, decrepit building. And some food and some herbs. Theodore appears. Well done! Well done indeed! As chosen, it is your job to stay alive. You must either dominate the lands, or solve the Shattering's mystery, or else all is lost. And for that, you must live. I shall be back soon to give you a final task. He disappears. I like demons. They're always so straightforward and not mi mysterious at all. Okay, so now the question is... In which direction do we go and what do we do there? We have some malachite and some fur leather here. Which is quite nice. I said that we wanted to get some more demons this turn, uh, this run. And I think for demons you needed to build stuff with 
um, with gemstones, so having a source of malachite might not be the worst. And we have fruits and grain and meat around here, plus the terrain artifact, which will turn into a high value resource too. So maybe, oh, and we also got dried wood as a tier 2 wood. Yeah, I, I wanted to go to the border of the other biomes at least, because now we have two biomes at our disposal. I'm, I don't want to go too deep into that one, because it can happen that you just got one shot at there by some kind of encounter. Um, so I might set up my village over here. But first, we will gather. Um, you should also cook a little bit more. Some rollada. We don't have to do it too risky here. Um, I still want to see a lot new new stuff and not just play the beginning over and over. So let's play it a little bit safe and stay at the border. It's quite far away to get to the other stuff, but yeah, it will be fine, I think. This spot right here seems like very in the middle of all the resources that we want to acquire. So oh, I should have checked first what kind of resources we need. Because we don't have enough. We need something more. Uh, does this one already give? Oh yeah, it already has bony but um, what can we get here we could get more wood so let's go and get some more wood oh, some points of interest that's always nice can we still cook here uh, no we don't have enough protein source um, then we get more wood that's the only thing that we don't have well maybe the wood is still in, in range it will be fine now that you have had a little time to get your bearings how about doing me and your gods a bit of a favor eh? You'd have to go to a place and deal with some trouble. Well, of course. How much wood do we have now? 17. We needed 20. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 20 wood. So let's stay a little bit longer. We could also... What is this? Light demons. Oh no, we don't want to do that yet. Yeah. It's very close. Hmm. We could also settle somewhere else. sure last time I had a village that was right next to me but that was um, the the one from the bandit camp from the red cave they settled right next to me like the hexagon right next to me yeah well we don't know yet if we will manage to to have them friendly with us So nonetheless, we need more. Uh, OK, 
Okay. Okay, we will... How do we do that even? Let's see how we do that. Oh, I guess she's just super strong. And they don't do too much damage. slower or do we get one board that soaks three damage i think the damage is not worth it so let's make them all slower which should put yeah two of them are in front now so let's see um well it doesn't matter it's all the same anyways three times him against three times my shadow elf but it's nice that it is poison damage so we increase our damage as soon as he is uh, hurt for the first time and he didn't even break our shield I guess that's why we how we defeated him without any injury I didn't expect that we would be that strong in uh, mental challenge how is it with our wood now do we have enough we have 21 <laughs> I think we need to stay one more round just so that we don't run out of fuel and then we could actually well we could put our village down here to I think then it's easier to get the wood but I would like to have the meat inside the village radius it's always nice if you don't have to worry about feeding your village when you're on your um, on your adventures yeah and then we would have grain the fruit and the meat in range and then we just have to go sometimes to collect some firewood I think that's the better option so we have wood we have 30 so let's go here that's where we want to build it I hope it's possible um, let's build it here and we want demons this time because we didn't have any demons last round so let's see it seems to be possible three rounds but it might be better for us if we collect other stuff in the meantime two rounds for grain yeah I think so so now it will be relatively boring for three turns because we're going to wait until our village is built uh, that was probably also what helped us we were fighting during the night so we got our our night bonus on our uh, shadow elf and that's 15% increase so not insignificant unsi 
Yeah, I think it was four now. So two more turns. Uh, a sudden storm catches you off guard. Lightning bolt cut through the sky and guts of wind sweep you off your feet. Uh, well, we respect the nature and its power. So let's seek some shelter. That gave us a mental blessing because our domain guided us through this. Ooh, that's a, non a nuisance in the beginning. Um, those demons play a game with us. Um, last time we chose the Knush as our advisor in this thing. So let's take the Dola this time. We got some... Yeah, it does. I think so too. I always had it every time. Mm. Is it the Tainted Heart? Oh, it's... Yeah, it's the Dark Heart. I thought that was a um, thing that only the the tainted shamans got. Mm. Let's increase the child of darkness. And this one is actually. Mm. I'm not sure. It's only for the magical challenges. So. I think the dizziness powder is quite good. Let's take that. Also for this um, this new mod that I installed that makes it so that old people might or that people might turn old and then teach younger ones. Um, that only works for skills that they have um, leveled up to I think it was level 3 or level 4 so it might be good to specialize in some traits that we want to teach our young'uns in, in the future. So, but now it's just one more round. And there it is, Lysogora. Let's see what we can gather. Well, so far we're not in range for the good stuff, but that will increase. We can actually check if we wanna. Can we buy, build anything here? So this one uses dryad wood and clay. We haven't found any clay yet, but we know where dryad wood is. This one is also very nice at the beginning of the game because um, the barracks increase um, sanity and faith, so you regenerate your mental and magical life back and you also get experience per turn which makes all your characters just stronger. I think we want that. Um, we have berries and corn, so grandma's treats would be an option, or traditional menu. Uh, this one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. Maybe we should take traditional menu. I think I took... No, I took seasoned fell followers. I didn't take the one that gives us improved morale for all recipes or for all different food types that we have. Um, and we definitely unlocked that one. So let's see. 
we might want to oh yeah oh, we have a guardian now does he have any equipment yet no not at all so let's give him at least a wand to do something with i mean he has five in it that's something and those guardians can't leave the village so oh he's very bad at crafting but he can gather some mm. we can use more leather um, i didn't change um, the the difficulty from the 150 percent that it was when i started the game so i don't know how much that is maybe f i think it was around four four tiles last turn yeah or six something like that we will head out um, to require some yeah I want to explore a bit further I think because um, I want to go down here and see if we find something useful down there and also I want to bring some some wood back um, we find some ruins uh, with an unsettling stench let's scout the area first we did that before so let's attack those two I'm living out yeah, they should be fine we get a pole arm well definitely something for our guardian of night and also a bow exactly so I won't do that again and this time we don't get any we don't get any sickness we even get two blessings and another shield not too bad um, I wonder maybe it's good to use the bow instead of the clay mallet but it does 1.3 damage usually we use the, da the daggers anyways and it's exactly the same damage but exactly it's it's not even one damage it's exactly the same it's a little bit faster though oh no no it's not even faster so i was thinking we don't give her any weapon at all just a shield for now and attack with the double daggers and even if we don't want to use the double daggers we still have sneak attack and the poison throwing dagger i think that's overall better Yeah, that's, that's a good point. This one is better, so we should definitely switch that. Thanks. Um, yeah. Doesn't look bad. And now we can... No, we can't. But we can go here. And collect some wood. attack them and 
now we even have the option to use shield up on her. Mm. Let's use poison damage. Meet it head on. Oh, but poison damage is super slow. Well, it will be fine. And then we can use our double tap. No. damage so far one at least goes on this one so I don't think we need extra shield this one's the slower one but this one wouldn't change anything so we wait and we can play another one but we don't need it because it's just well he countered our double toss so we we still don't need it it doesn't matter at all. Mm, I'm not sure. I might have been. I might have been too pe a bit too quick. With some shield abilities you can shield too. That's definitely right. We found some clay. That's nice. We were... but we need way more. Yeah, exactly. In this fight it doesn't matter, but I should concentrate a little bit more in a fight that matters. Let's go down here. Uh, safer areas. Another shield. This time it's even better because it's Mastercraft. I don't know what happened. And I, I won't complain, but I feel quite lucky with this start so far. Uh, so let's switch to shields again. Yeah. But it doesn't, it only takes one bad fight and well, it's basically over. So I'm not complaining here at all. I think we need a little bit more. We only have seven wood, so we should take a little bit more. We might even stay two rounds. should um, yeah but I think there is like an internal counter that gives you an um, new people if you don't have too many yet um, I wanted to check there were some things to increase it yeah here improves gathering range and gathering so we should build this one. We need a lot of wood for that and we collect leather right now. So we might even we might even stay for longer to get even more wood. Mm, okay, so we don't have any firewood here anymore and no way of changing that here. Um, I think this is in support range. How much, how much leather do we have? We have 20 already. That's all we need for now. So how much wood do we have? 15 and we burn some, but we need Oh, but we need two advancement pots. Um, well, we, we definitely need more wood. Um, but 
we might not be able to um, build the stuff that we want to but I'm planning to to go to the village because that gives us some experience as well as um, the opportunity to maybe have them as friends which would help us because then we could trade and as you earlier said we could have some some quests so you can you should start gathering some malachite or no we want research so we should do that And then we can leave with just the, the shadow elf. You come to a small village, and despite the calm weather outside, you see storm clouds hanging over this settlement. Well, hmm. I don't know. We listened to a chosen one once before. Well it's just one and we were quite good at it so let's see that should be possible should have given the um, we should have given the the, the weapon to our, our guardian of might some damage is it worth to take five less damage I don't think so he even has some shields so he should use his body instead but this one I don't think it's worth it for three damage to get hurt on him before they are able to act we could kill this one which is the highest damage and we are able to kill it before they act which sounds quite good to me oh no we're not because this one defending it huh well but then we couldn't kill anyone else either so it's not a big um, oh, we're so faster, so we could kill it. That's very good. Might even better to kill this one instead. Well, now it's too late, anyways. this one because it's two he will take some damage now but it's just our house demon oh no they attack over here well that's very nice This should be, this is already one because we are faster. Um, that was that. Your logic is sound chosen. We will not fail the gods again. Here, this is where he went. 
They hide back in their houses and point in the direction where they last saw Zbigniew. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. I think we move back in to here and use your workforce. None of you is really capable of research. So that might also be a problem. But we need the research. Uh, we resist with no problems. And our house demon. Oh yeah, we should give him. Um, what do we give him? I think the the mallet seems nice. Gives him some damage. Can we maybe even cook some things? Well, no, but we can cook with this one. Fruit pie. Well, not too bad. What's that? Seaweed salad. I think we take the the fruit pie instead. Um, you are our cook. Spigniew. Um, You're honest. Good. Let me tell you, though, your puny gods can suck it. I've had enough. I stopped. I was fed up with doing their dirty work. Spigniew drops to the floor and swears he will do better. He leaves for the village. Theodore appears. Magic and harmony calling out for the light of the gods to shine upon this wretched soul. Well done. This is surely the best way to show the power of the gods, eh? Maybe. Indeed. Although confronting Zbigniew was needed for other reasons, too. Many stoves burn in our divine kitchens, my darlings. Now, I leave you to your own devices, and the gods will surely call upon your services again. But for now, please stay alive. Thank you. We get even more perception. That's really nice. I think perception also increased in gathering quite substantially. So we shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we have seven gathering now. Uh, gathering luck and health. So that's nice. So, um, seems like we were able to, oh yeah, one more thing, we will go to this village. Well met friends, now that Zbigniew is no longer troubling you or us, we can welcome you properly. Let's visit the canals. Do we want a spider or do we want um, a cat? I think we don't have any problems fighting right now. So let's take the cat for 20. Well, oh, I didn't know that we have that much clay already. That's quite nice. Should we take leather? We can collect leather at our village all the time. So let's take leather. It's not a good cat, but it is a cat. Mm. Well met, friends. Now that Zbigniew is no longer troubling you or us, we can welcome you properly. Is there anything we can help you with? 
Um, well, we don't really have anyone yet, but I'm not sure if we want to take the spider either. We could exchange it for the horse. I mean, the horse just makes us carry more. But we can switch it if we need it. Um, can we kill anyone for you? Uh, there are a bunch of worms nesting nearby. Well. Certainly well met friends. We can do. Now that's big Niev is no longer troubling you or us, we can welcome you properly. Um should we gamble? Well didn't gambling did not hurt us at all last time. We can we win. Oh you win, but the folk look at you with suspicion. Well, I think that's fine. Oh, they didn't like us. I guess we <laughs> we tricked them. Well, could be worse. So, yeah, the the house demon can't use any uh, any pets. The boar on him is actually quite nice in in a way. Just to have like have it tank one hit for us. Mm. I think we'll take it like this. Yeah. And this was the beginning. I think I will wrap it up for today because it's almost 12 p.m. here and I have some plans for tomorrow so I don't want to stay up too long. Um, but this was a perfect start so far and um, yeah we didn't really see how the changes really play out yet. So stay tuned for next time which will most likely be tomorrow and um, yeah thank you all for watching have a good night and i'll see you soon goodbye